Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel where I like to make, create, and inspire fun art things with you. Today, as you see here from the title, I have five pride DIYs that are so simple and easy to do and very affordable because most of the materials came from Dollar Tree. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it and let's art today. For the first DIY, I have one of these wood circle rounds that I purchased from Dollar Tree and I'm just removing the twine and I will give this a good thick coat of my folk art home decor chalk paint. After my paint has completely dried, I got out my basic acrylic paints all in the rainbow colors. So as you see here, I think well one's out of order but I have purple blue green yellow orange and red now I must admit throughout this project I had a little bit of trouble and I do show it just to show you that we are human and we do make mistakes but I fix it in the end and I still love the end result So here is my first mistake. As you see here, I'm dotting down the purple paint on the top rim, which that's not normally where the purple goes on a rainbow. It's usually at the bottom. So as you see here, I take some of the excess off using a paper towel and I paint the bottom bottom rainbow rim or line purple then i go in with my white chalk paint again and i try to hide or erase the purple paint on the top after that was completed i then started going up the rainbow in the correct order so now i'm painting in the blue as I was painting the orange line on my rainbow, I started to notice that something wasn't adding up. It took a little second, but then I realized this rainbow has seven lines. And I know that there will be a debate on how many colors are actually in a rainbow, but normally I just do the normal six. So I got a little frustrated and I started over again. So I repainted, repainted it completely white added each color in the center of the rainbow and then I painted it all off camera because at that time I was just frustrated and I wanted it to get finished. So this is what it looks like after all the paint is in the right order. For the next part of this project I have these laser cut craft words from the Dollar Tree and it says love. I purchased this around Valentine's Day and I thought it would be perfect for this DIY. I also have this copper basic acrylic paint that I just started to really like and I will add that all over this love cutout. I do give that two coats of paint so that the copper really shines through. The last thing to do is attach both pieces together and all I'm using to do so is my hot glue gun. Here's how this DIY turned out. I absolutely love it. I love the simplicity of it and there are many ways to display it. You can hang it on a wall, you can place it on a bookshelf like I have it here. Like I said earlier, this was really simple and easy to do and all these materials came from the Dollar Tree. Moving right into DIY number two, I had found this wooden heart tray at Dollar Tree in their plus section and it was $3. Now, looking closely at it, it looks like you can make this on your own if you had all the materials. It kind of just looks like those Jenga blocks that they carry and some wood scraps in their wooden heart. But I purchased mine from Dollar Tree. It was only $3, like I said earlier. I'm removing all of the stickers and I did give it a light sand off camera. Once I gave it a good wipe down, I'm going in once again with my home decor folk art 
chalk paint. That's a mouthful sometimes. And I give it a nice thick coat. I only gave it one coat because I'm adding more paint on top. After that had time to dry, I am now going to sketch on a little drawing on top of that paint. Just using a pencil to do this. And as you see here, I'm making little squiggly lines going down the heart so it mimics like dripping paint. Because that is the look that I am going for or trying to achieve here. So after I got the sketch where I like it and sectioned out, I am now going in with the rainbow colors once again in my basic acrylic paints. And I start off with red and end up with purple, so I'm only using six. I will continue painting until my whole heart is covered. After that had time to dry, I am now doing my favorite part, which is normally outlining my artwork. So I'm taking a Posca paint pen in the color black, and that is what I'm doing. I'm outlining those paint drips. I first start by outlining the whole thing as a whole, and then I go in and divide the colors in it. While I am doing that, I then add more details by adding more squigglies on top of the paint to make it look like it's overlapping or more dripping down. Then when I'm done with that, I take a white Posca paint marker and I add all my highlights to make the paint look nice and juicy. And that completes this part of the first half of this DIY, I guess. I basically call this DIY number two because after this, you can be done. But look how it turned out. I absolutely love it. I love making paint drips, especially in the rainbow colors because all the colors are beautiful on their own, but put together, it makes a masterpiece. I would love to know what you think about this DIY down in the comment section below. Jumping into DIY number three, it is now time to decorate the inside of this wooden tray. So I first added little dots of all the colors from the rainbow. Now I must admit this was another mistake of mine, but I left it in to see to show you my process that I go to. So after I was done dotting all of the colors on the bottom of the tray, I then took a paintbrush and started to paint the colors into one another. The problem was with this was that the paintbrush was smearing the colors too much into each other or I had too much paint down. I don't know. So then I moved into a paint spatula thinking that it would work better. Um, it was just making matters worse. I didn't like how it was turning out. So once again, I got frustrated and I wiped it all out and I started again. To hide my mistake, I am taking white chalk paint once again and giving it a nice thick coat on the bottom to hide all the mistake that I made earlier. <laughs> After that was completely dried, I am now going back in with the rainbow colors. Once again, I'm just using the six and I'm going sort of in a diagonal direction with the paint and painting out little sections of the rainbow. So I first start with red and I end with purple. Stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long It hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away
After all the paint had time to completely dry, I am now taking that same copper paint color that I'm falling in love with and adding it to the sides and of the rim of that wooden heart tray. I do give it about two coats so that copper color really pops through. And that completes this DIY. Here's what it looks like when the tray is completely empty. And I did go back and forth with myself if I should add should have added a little saying or words in the middle but the paint i added so much of it that it left some sort of texture on the bottom which i love by the way here's what it looks like if you add some things into it it is a decent sized tray so a lot of things fit inside i just added a couple of perfumes but i really loved how this tray turned out Moving right into DIY number four, which is one of my favorite DIYs of the day. All you need is this rainbow fan that I found at Dollar Tree and four wooden blocks. I use the Dollar Tree Jenga blocks or the Tumbling Tower blocks, but any four blocks will work just fine. I am actually taking these four blocks and gluing them together to make a stand for my fan. And that rhymes, which is weird. <laughs> so I'm creating a rectangle um, shape out of all of these four blocks. Once again, I am using my hot glue gun to do so. I have an all-purpose hot glue stick, so it does hold the wooden pieces together quite nicely. Now for the fourth piece of the wooden blocks, as you see here, I'm just trying to find the width of the stand to hold the fan <laughs> into place. I'm sorry, I the rhyming is is humorous to me so I'm removing the excess so that I have um, a clean slate to paint my stand I'm using that same copper color that I've been using throughout all of these DIYs that I really like and I gave it two coats of paint moving on to the fan I want it to remain completely open and as far spread as possible so to do so I'm using these popsicle sticks to hold open the fan and I'm placing it on the plastic part so that you wouldn't see it too much um, if I placed it on the fabric part. After I placed the popsicle sticks and they dried completely, I am now going to place the fan into the stand. So I squeezed it right into the little hole that we created and I'm taking my hot glue gun once again and I'm giving it a little dollop on the sides of the stand so that it will hold the fan into place. And then I, for extra support, I added two of those cube blocks to the back of it as well. For the last detail of this DIY, I have one more of these love cutouts from Dollar Tree. I wanted to add it to the fan, so first I'm going in with some white chalk paint and I'm adding that all over the love sign. And then I did go in with my black Posca paint pen and outlined it. And here's how it turned out. I really love this DIY. I love how big it is and how bright and beautiful it is. And I just love that little love word on the bottom. And for our final DIY of the day, I want to create a little photo picture scrapbooking page. And to do so, I have my over the rainbow paper, scrapbooking paper that I purchased at Michael's. It was on clearance for $5 and I really love it. I love the that it's so thick. And look at all of these colorful pages. They are so pretty, it has all the rainbows and all the colors that needed for this project. So I picked out a couple of sheets that I really liked and I am now removing the con tenths of the picture frame out of it and I am now cutting down my scrapbooking paper to fit inside of the picture frame which was a five by seven picture frame. After everything was cut out, I'm taking my Gorilla glue stick and gluing down the papers to one another and I'm putting it directly in the center. 
Next, I'm taking some of these sticker letters that I purchased from Michael. They were also on clearance. I believe they were a dollar or two dollars. I can't remember. And I'm spelling out the words love wins. Once everything was spelled out, all I did was add that piece of paper back into the picture frame. And here's how it turned out. I really love it. I think it is cute it was really easy to do it really took about five minutes to make and you can hang it up you could put it on a desktop on a bookshelf wherever you like and it just brings so much joy and that little cloud is so adorable once again here is a overview of everything that i have created today i really enjoyed today's projects this is really fun to do and it was so simple and really cheap and easy if you want to create and decorate for this pride month now if you are new here and haven't yet subscribed i would love for you to do that today all you have to do is click on that big red subscribe button down below make sure to hit the bell notification so that youtube can always notify you when i upload a new video and i would love for you to be part of my virtual art family if you like all things crafty and diys make sure to give this video a big thumbs up it really does help out my channel Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I love